Hey guys, I hope you're doing alright. The the only reason why I'm not moving back is because um, I'm going to read the lyrics of a song to you. Um, hope you guys are all doing well and God has been faithful and good and greater, greater things are to come. Um, welcome to this Sunday sermon. It's called uh, do it anyway. Uh, well, let's pray. Father, I thank you for what you've done and what you're about to do, Lord Jesus. Speak to me, speak through me in this word. God, I pray that change will be broken. I, I declare that lives will be restored. I, I proclaim that your blessing will follow your people. And I, and I speak a special blessing onto those that are hurting, that are downtrodden, to Lord, today, Lord God, I pray that this sermon uh, bless them and, and be of encouragement to their minds and hearts and spirit. In the name of Jesus, amen. Um, I was thinking last night about what, and meditating on what the Lord would have um, me speak on and he um, spoke to me about doing it anyway um, go, what I mean by that is going forward although things are painful although things you don't understand things just walking in faith and so that's what I'm going to talk about today um, the song that came to my heart uh, when I was thinking about this sermon was uh, Anyway by, by Martina McBride. So I'm going to read the lyrics of that song and then I'm going to get started on the sermon. Um, and also, although I'm not going to read it, but the, um, the story of the ten lepers that um, that weren't healed at first, but as they went forward, they were, um, at, as they went forward, they were healed. It was their faith that made them whole. And sometimes God would ask you, even though you're broken, even though you're in pain, even though you're downtrodden, to do it anyway. Even though you're not sure, even though you're scared, do it anyway. He's got your back and he knows what he wants you to do. And he knows what he's calling you to do. So I can't play this song um, because of YouTube rules, but I can read the lyrics to you. And when I first heard this song, it really spoke to my spirit. Just just the words of it just ministered to me in a powerful way and I hope it does the same thing to you um, and then after I read it I'm gonna back up so you got can see me more okay so here's the song anyway by Martina McBride. I will put the song on my Facebook um, after I finish recording this sermon just so that you can hear the actual song. I miss the days when I could just play the actual song but I can't do that anymore so this is the next best thing. I know sometimes in life you have fear and um, trembling, but the Lord wants you to sit, wants you to know that even in that fear and trembling, that He'll be with you, that you're not alone. And He says to do it anyway. 
go for it anyway, even if you're, you're not, even if you feel unsure, even if you don't know what um, things are going on, he says to do it anyway. I pray that the lyrics of the song really touch your heart. Um, as I read it to you. It reads like this. It reads like this. Um, You could spend your whole life building something from nothing. One storm can come and blow it away. Build it anyway. You can chase a dream. You might seem it. Okay. You can chase a dream that seems so out of reach. And you know it might not come it might never, it might never come dream it anyway. And the chorus goes, God is great, but sometimes I think good. And when I pray, it doesn't always turn out like I think it should. But I do it anyway. Do it anyway. This world's gone crazy. It's hard to believe that tomorrow will be better than today. Believe it anyway. You can love someone with all your heart for the right reasons. In that, in that moment, they choose to walk away love them anyway god is great but sometimes life is good and when i pray it doesn't always turn out like i think it should but i do it anyway do it anyway you you can pour your soul out singing a song that you believe in that tomorrow that they'll forget you sang you sang sing it anyway yeah sing it anyway I sing I dream I love anyway um that song is so powerful because it says that even if people don't see your worth, if people don't um, respect what you do or acknowledge what you do, do it anyway. If God has called you, if he has ordained you to do a certain thing, to walk in a certain purpose, walk in it anyway, just because he... He knows the end from the beginning. He knows what he's called you to do. He knows who you are and whose you are. So because he knows you and who he's called you to be and what he's called you to do, he knows what's coming down the road. And sometimes people cannot see your destiny right away, but one day they will. And even if they don't, who cares? Just walk in your purpose. Understand that you're here, not because of people, not because of the acceptance of people, but because of the calling on your life. And walk in your ordained calling. Walk in your ordained purpose because your purpose is to help somebody in there and out there. And if you don't walk in it, two things will happen. 
if you don't walk in it, someone else will and get what you're supposed to. And you won't reap the benefits that you were supposed to have because you have gifts and talents way down inside of you that he's just waiting for you to realize and align yourself with what he's called you to. And it, it was so interesting today. Um, our children and youth pastor talked about uh, aligning yourself with God's purpose. And he talked about the realignment. And the Lord is realigning purposes, realigning destinies. The Lord is br breaking off strongholds of fear. But we need to receive that he's breaking it off. Sometimes the problem with us as human beings is we don't receive that he's big enough. We're, we're told something, oh, he's, it's turning around in our favor. It's turning around in our favor. We're, we're told that he's breaking chains. We're told that he's relying things. But the problem with we don't see it in our lives is because we hear it, but we don't receive it. And hearing with, without receiving comes to nothing. So we need to receive that he is he is getting things together. We need we need to push past the fear, push past the pain, push past the uncertainty, and do it anyway. Live it anyway. Sing it anyway. You know, it, it was so funny because one time I, as m most of you know, I love music and I love to sing and I love to worship and I love to just, I love all kinds of music. I love uh, to experience, uh, to express God through music. Anyway, one day... I put up a song and I got a negative comment from someone and they said that sounds horrible what are, you, what are you doing and you know what I did I sang it anyway I left it up and I sang it anyway and as you guys know sometimes I still sing although I know that the best singer but God knows that he's ordained me although I can't I don't have the voice um, he's ordained me uh, for music ministry in a unique way he he caught he's caused me to hear things that people don't hear in music he he's caused me to hear secular music sometimes in a way that people don't hear it. So that is one of my gifts and uh, worshiping is one of my gifts and styles of music is another one of my gifts. So it's all, uh, and so is preaching and so is movies and so is all that. So no matter what people say, I do it anyway because I know that there's someone out there that needs what I have and you know, the greatest tool that the devil can use to stop you is fear of your own inadequacies and insecurities. And that's what he's using to stop you. Beloved, push through the fear. Push through the inadequate the imaginary inadequacies that you that you see. Because somebody needs what you have. Somebody needs your gifting. Somebody needs what the Lord's put in you. The Lord's put so much in you. And he will say to you, Beloved, do it anyway. Regardless of whether people understand it, whether people will celebrate it with you, do it anyway. Go forward in ministry anyway. If you know 
that you are called for a certain thing study and show yourself approved and do it anyway um with the internet out there anyone can study anything if you are called to go to school for a certain thing if you are called to do a certain thing don't let anything stop you don't let the way you look stop you don't let the, the fact that you have a disability stop you don't let the fact that you're a woman stop you don't let the fact that you're latino stop you don't let the fact that you're black stop you don't let anything stop you don't let the fact that you make made mistakes stop you because god will use your mistakes for his glory and uh, what the lord wants you to do wants you to know today is that you're precious you're too precious to let what people say stop you and sometimes those people don't even know who you are they only think they know who you are but they know they don't have any idea who, who you are um the lord said to me one day the lord said i have hidden you you've not been forgotten rachel he said you've been hidden and i want to say that to somebody today you've been hidden and he's about to expose you all your praying all your fasting all your serving in your church and all your faithfulness he's about to he's about to catapult you into your future and catapult you in your destiny and all those people that were laughing at you all those people that didn't understand you are about to get the shock of their lives because you are about to come into your own just receive it and i'm not saying that you won't have fear i'm not saying that you will be that you will be um without doubt or apprehension but i'm saying just to do it anyway push through it do it scared do it when you're not when you're not completely sure because i'm going through something right now where i'm not completely sure but i'm sure at the same time and what it is is i'm sure of the calling but i'm not sure of myself i'm not sure that i'm right for the calling and the lord says if you weren't right for the calling i wouldn't call you i would have called someone else he's what you need he's what he you're what he needs to fulfill your calling and he's what you need to fulfill your calling he's all you need to fulfill your calling and when you understand that he's all you need that will just just catapult you into where you're supposed to be and and i just am so um excited about what god's going to do because i know it's going to be wonderful and when it's all said and done i'm gonna only say it was god who did it and not myself there are so many people with hidden gifts inside of them with hidden treasures inside of them but they've let fear they've let doubt they've let insecurity stop them S send that to hell and keep moving insecurity and fear they belong in hell they belong with the devil they don't belong with the children of god use your fear as fuel to energize you to wake you up don't use it as a stopper to stop you because god has got your back and he knows what's coming for you and he knows what he has for you and he knows who you are there are so many great things ahead for you beloved there are so many wonderful things that he's got in store for you 
that you wouldn't even believe. All you have to do is take one step at a time. One step at a time. And it won't be easy, all of it. But he'll, he'll be with you. And he's got your back. And he wants me to tell you, do it anyway. Do it anyway. Do it broken. Do it. Do it anyway. You don't have to be totally healed to do what he's called you to do. He will use your brokenness to restore people. He will use your brokenness to, to help people. He will use your brokenness as a, as a testimony for his glory. And there will be some person out there who will say, if she can do it, I can do it. And it will start a revolution of a Tavashim. God is saying to do it anyway. And he will. He's got your back. You've got nothing to worry about. And you, you could say that, Rachel, I don't have the resources. Rachel, I don't have the money. Rachel, I'm not sure. But what he wants me to, to tell you is, if you take a step of faith, the resources that you need, the people that you need, the things for your calling will be waiting on the other side. It, he will not leave you forsaken, forsaken or begging bread. It, whatever you need will be waiting for you when you need it. Whatever you need will be waiting for you when you need it. All you need to do is step on faith. All you need to do is trust the Lord and understand that if you fight for him, he will fight for you. Beloved, you don't need to fight for purpose. You don't need to fight for position. You don't need to jockey. You don't need you don't need to be on your grind. You don't need to hustle. The children of God just need to trust God and understand that God's got you. And if you put him at the center of your life, he will glorify you, glorify his his father through you and put you in places that you never dreamed. He's just waiting for you to step out. He's just waiting for you to understand who you are and whose you are. Do you understand that he is the king of all things and he has everything that you need? All he's waiting for you is to take a little step of faith. Um, we used to sing a song like this. Take a step of faith. Take a step of faith. When you can't see your hand in front of your face, take a step of faith. With no star to guide your way, God's still beside you saying, take a step of faith. Just take a step of faith. If you take a step of faith, he will do the rest. Beloved, there's no need to be afraid. There's no need to worry about, oh, I don't have the money. I don't have the resources. Just take a step of faith. And I'm not saying to be stupid. First of all, make sure that it is God. If it is God telling you to do the certain thing, he's obligated to provide for you. If it is not God, he is not obligated. And some people um, do some crazy things with, with, um, with their lives and say God told them to do it. No, God didn't tell you to do it. Your friend did it, so you stepped out. And you didn't get the same results that your friend did because your friend was ordained by God to do it and you weren't. Make sure that the calling is yours. If it's yours, he is obligated to to let you, to watch you fly and he's obligated to um, provide you the resources that you need. And he's saying, trust me. He's saying, trust me. I've got you. 
I won't let you fall. Even if you tried it before and it didn't work. He's saying, trust me. He's saying, trust me, believe my word. He's saying, I will not leave you forsaken. He's saying, I got you. He's saying, I, I have anointed you to do what I've called you to do. All I need you to do is trust me. And he's saying, for some of you, you may have tried it before on your own strength and you're afraid again. He's saying, do it again. He's saying, try it again. It didn't work before because it wasn't the right time. But he's saying, this time it will work because it is the right time. See, sometimes we can do the right things at the wrong times. And if it's not God's time for it to happen, it won't happen. And if you try and push open the door and make it happen, it won't. The push door will just close on you. But if it's God, it will happen just like that. And when it's God, you will have to work for it. But the work will seem easy. The work won't seem like work. And even if it does, he will give you the grace to go through to do what you have to do so beloved you have no reason to worry you have no reason to fret just step out on faith and do it anyway sing it anyway love them anyway even if you don't think it's gonna work out do it anyway because if it is God it will work out eventually. Lord Jesus, I thank you for, for this word today. I thank you for what you're doing and what you will be doing. And I pray, Lord God, that you will just, that you will just, that you will just drench us with holy fire. I, I declare that you will drench us with Holy courage, God. Give us the strength to do it anyway. Give us the strength to know that even if we fall, you're here to give us to get us back up. Lord God, I praise you and I worship you. I praise you and I worship you. Lord God, help us increase our faith, God. Help our unbelief. Help what we help us to know that what we see is right and what we feel is correct it's not just a hairy fairy thing that it's something that you've ordained for us we may be scared we may not know what's going on next but that's not our job our job is to step out on faith and do what you've called us to do lord help us to understand who you are and who we are in you. Lord God, I praise you and I lift you up. Lord, you are awesome. You are great. And we honor, we honor you, God. We worship you, God. And he would say, I am God. There is no other. I am God. There is none like me. I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times to what will soon be seen. Stand still and know this is my doing. I hold the world within my hands trust me just trust me trust me trust me it's part of your, your purpose it's my word and it's greater than my name and he says i will 
go before you and I will strengthen you I will create the pathway so you will know that I am God I will go before you and I will strengthen you I will create the pathway so you will know that I am God I'm gonna do the second verse again stand still and know this is my doing I hold the world within my hands trust me it's part of your purpose it's my word and it's greater than my name I will go before you he says I will strengthen you I will create the pathway so you will know that I am God I will go before you and I will strengthen you I will create the pathway so you will know that I am God. He wants, God wants me to do something strange. There was, uh, he wants me to remind you of the Michael Jackson commercial when Michael Jackson was alive. It was, I think it was, oh, no, it wasn't a commercial. It was the Billie Jean video. If you have ever seen the music video for Billie Jean, um, it, it's a video um, where Michael Jackson, everywhere he steps, it's dark. But once he steps on the square, it lights up. So he, God's saying, the square might be dark, but when you step there, I will light up. I will illuminate. I will provide resources. He says, I will provide resources. I will send help. Just step on the square and it will light up. It, I, he said, I prepared the way. Just follow it. You don't have to know all the details. You don't have to know everything. But just know that I am God and I will prepare the way. And I've written light now. I've, I've, let, I've lit each square. Just follow the squares. And everywhere you, you step, I will give it to you. Everything you set it to do will be yours. Just follow the, the lighted squares. The squares may be dark, but as soon as you step on them, they will light up. And you, and you won't even know how you got where you, where you got. Um, so guys, I will see you next week. Um, take care. I love you. Bye. Be blessed. I will go before you and I will strengthen you. I will create the pathway so you will know that I am God. I am that I am. 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 If you need money, I am that I am. I am that I am. Every reason.
resource. I am that I am. I am that I am. I am what you need. I am what you need. Don't worry about anything. Don't stress about anything. I am what you need. Just follow the squares. I will light them up. I will light your path. I am what you need. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being what you need. For being what we need. Stand still and know this is my doing. I hold your world within my hands. Trust me. It's part of your purpose. It's my word, and it's greater than my name. Ah, ah, he will go before you, and God will strengthen you. God will create the pathway, so you will know. But he is God, he will go before you, and he will strengthen you, he will create the pathway that you God bless you. See you next week. Just follow the squares. And they will light up your path. It's already in you. It's already in you. You don't have to search for it. It's already around you. Just follow the squares and they will light up and he will light the path. In the name of Jesus, I declare paths are lit. In the name of Jesus, victory today, joy today, salvation today. I bless you, Lord. I give you praise. See you next week.